Welcome back to Boat Fools, everybody. Look, it's miserable out. It's raining, it's foggy, it's dark, it's March, it's Maine. What better time than now to look at the top 10 boats currently listed in the state for under $40,000. A couple of weeks ago, we did under 30K. Today, we're doing under 40K. I found some gems. You're gonna love them. There's some really slick boats out there. Some of them are just on the market within the last couple of days. So come along with me, put on your helmet, put on your goggles, buckle up, let's go check them out. Okay, everybody, here we go. Uh, coming in at number 10 is a 1982 Tartan 37. List price is $35,000, offered by East Coast Yacht Sales. Look, this is going to be much higher on my list because it's a Sparkman and Stevens design, and it's a classic plastic with a lot, a lot of miles left in her. But I, this thing's been on the market on and off for a year or so and so i'm a little concerned that there's something that's not being disclosed but as we click through the pictures you can see that it clearly needs a little elbow grease and tlc um it looks like it's been under cover for a while it's got a westerbeek diesel which are great it's got some it's got a garmin chart plotter and you can tell by looking at this that it needs a good scrub and clean and get down to what's going on with this thing. Uh, I don't know if there's, there's no mention of a survey, so I don't know if there's something wrong. I can see some water staining underneath this port here. Um, it's just filthy. Uh, there, it looks like um, there was something around near the rudder that caught my eye. Yeah, right here. I don't know what's going on here, um, if there's a situation, but um, again, contact the East Coast Yacht Sales if you're interested, but uh, it looks like with some love, and if you got this for the right price, if you got it for under 30, let's say, I think this would be a solid, solid choice. Uh, it's got a Westerbeek 40 horsepower. It's a centerboard boat. Uh, draft is 4.2 and the board is up uh, with the board down at 7.9. Uh, she's, it says that she's ready to launch and enjoy this summer, um, and I think that means last summer, so I think this is worth looking at and try to get for a steal. Anyway, Tartan 37 coming in at number 10 would have ranked but a bit higher if it were in better condition in terms of cleanliness. Uh, but clearly it's been on the market for a while. I think the price has come down since it was originally listed. If you're interested in this boat, go low. All right, let's get up moving on here. Coming in at number nine is a Catalina 34 tall rig full keel. List price is $35,000. 1986, length 34, beam 11.9, draft 5.7. It's got a stack pack. Bimini, Dodger, um, it's got uh, Ray Marine E129 chart plotter. It's got um, a survey that was completed in 2020, and it's got a 25 horsepower universal diesel with approximately 1,000 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, that's like a brand new engine. If it's been well-maintained, these diesels will go to five, ten thousand 10,000 hours without breaking a sweat. And this boat also comes with an air conditioner and refrigeration. I think this is a real solid choice. And the owner says it's in good condition. It is a for sale by owner of Fisbo. Um, this looks like him here. And it uh, looks like it's got all the newest electronics. It's got a nice clean head. The interior looks spotless. And it's a Catalina. So there's going to be a great uh, plethora of uh, owners out there to uh, support you if you were to buy this boat and you would have a great, a great community out there. And it's just, a, it's a handsome boat. I don't know a ton about Catalinas other than, that, other than that they bought Morgan boats a million years ago. So they can't be all that bad. And I know that they are prolific out there. There's so many. Uh, so if you got one, you'd be in good company. All right. Coming in at number eight is a Bristol 35.5 1980. List price is 34.5. She is offered by East Coast Yacht Sales, so she is broker represented. Uh, I love the Bristols. We looked at one of these. It was centerboard, unfortunately. This, I believe, is a full keel version with an updated rig and newer universal diesel engine, a new transmission, and new Raymarine electronic suite. Uh, she is currently on land and ready for your inspection. Um, it's got a 2004 Universal 25 horsepower diesel on board, so that's been updated. That is significant. My one drawback to the Bristols is their narrow beam. It's under 11 feet. It's going to be a little narrow for the length, but the interior, the pictures aren't fantastic, but the interior looks nice. It looks like a real beauty, and the Bristol lines are just gorgeous. You'll never tire of looking at this boat. So coming in at number Eight is a 1980 Bristol 35.5, a sharp-looking boat. 
I think you go for this if you like a classic cruiser. You can race and cruise this thing. Coastal cruiser, take off shore. It's a full kill. You'd go anywhere. Coming in at number seven. Okay, we spent a fair amount of time on this boat in our episode called Fiesta Forever. This is a storied 1980 classic CNC 40-2. It's a second generation listed at 34.5. This boat, the only reason why it's not ranking higher in my top 10 under 40 is because she's not really tricked out for cruising. It's been mostly used for racing. However, she has cruised. She is very comfortable down below and she is a classic CNC solid boat. She's in very good condition. Just needs to be modified a little bit for cruising. And you could take this boat anywhere. It's a centerboard. It's four six with the board up, and I think eight two or eight four with the board down. The owner is a prolific sailor and racer. He made the Olympic tryouts. And he also raced on an America's Cup defender called Nefertiti in 1962. And this boat has, um, I think, won the Marblehead Halifax race. And it's a go anywhere CNC boat. Big, solid, solid, great boat. Okay, check out that episode, Fiesta Forever. And you can get a good tour of that uh, by uh, myself and uh, the owner's son. Okay, and fellow boat fool, by the way. Okay, coming in at number six. Yep, another Sabre. These things are made in Maine. You're going to see a lot of them. These things are rock solid, great boats. This is a 1984 Sabre 34. List price is 36.5. It is represented by Thomas Yacht. And this boat looks like a gem. It looks like it's been well maintained. I love the dark blue hull against the tan. It's got a bimini. It has got uh, radar, I believe. It's got. Um, uh, what's the thing I'm looking for here? An auto helm. There it is. And it's got nice teak accents and it looks like it's been lovingly cared for. And the down below when we get there looks clean and tidy. And uh, yeah, it does have radar uh, and lazy jacks, which is nice. The headliner looks great on these boats. Um, and this one in particular, the cushions look good. I can't see that one. The head looks clean and um, the electronics look reasonable. And it just looks like it's been lovingly cared for and uh, would take you anywhere. And, um, you know, it's just a handsome boat. You can't go wrong with a Sabre. And it is not the only one to make our list today. I'm sorry to report in case you're not a Sabre fan, but this one looks like a real, real winner. And it's got a 1984 uh, Westerbeek with 2,600 hours on it. It's a 27 horsepower. Again, 2,600 hours on a Westerbeek that's well-maintained. It's about half-life at worst okay uh plenty of hours left on that engine all right let's move on cracking into the top five is another cape dory 30 this thing just came on the market that's why it wasn't in our last episode it's been on the market for less than uh, 10 days uh list price is 28.5 it is the cutter rig version of the cape dory 30 and this one is a beauty the owner says in his comments, this is the cleanest, nicest boat he's ever owned, and he's owned a bunch. It's got the stack pack. It's got the cutter rig. It's got a Bimini Dodger. Uh, it also has an engine, a Yanmar, that only has 800 hours on it. Let's look at this thing. It is turnkey. It's got a stove. The cushions look great. Look at this. Cockpit is beautiful. It's got nice teak combing. Um, not a ton of pictures, but the comments say it all. It says it's in great shape, and this boat is ready to take you anywhere. Uh, the engine was replaced sometime around 20, 2003 or 2005, um, and it's a Yanmar, like I said, and it's got a wood-burning stove. This boat is a winner-winner chicken dinner. It's hull number 173, and if you like the Cape Dories and you want a modest-sized boat that you can cruise the coast, you can take around the world, this boat is for you. I am so impressed by this boat. I've never seen a cleaner one. Okay, coming in at number four. This boat, I fell in love with this thing. Don't know a lot about them, but Good Old Boat has uh, the most recent issue. I think it's called Good Old Boat. has a whole story on this uh, Southern Cross sailboat. Not this one in particular, but one that had a refit done. This is a 1981 Southern Cross 28-footer listed at 32.5 by an owner. It's in Rockland, Maine, stored indoors. And I love the double end on this. I love the helm station. I love the cockpit. I love the teak accents. I love the blow. It's a spit polished clean. And it's got a little wood-burning stove. You, it's a pocket cruiser, but you could coastal cruise. You could blue water cruise. 
Heck, take this thing around the world. It's a cutter rig. It's got a nice bowsprit, and I just love the sheer line on this boat. It's really a pretty boat. It's not a full kill, but boy, is it close. So I think it's going to handle pretty well, uh, more like a fin kill when you're in tight quarters, and but give you the stability of a fuller keel uh, on a full kill boat. This one, I just love it. Anyway, I, I don't know a lot about the Southern Cross, but like I said, Good Old Boat just had an article on this. Uh, on the Southern Cross 28, and I just came across this thing. I love it. And it's stored indoors in Rockland. Go see it. Buy it. Okay. Coming in at number three. Another Sabre, guys. But this one, honestly, this is unreal. This is a 1989 Sabre 30. List price is 40. It's the most expensive in our group today. And this is why. It's like it just came out of the factory. All right. So let's go through some photos quickly. Beautiful saber lines, lazy jacks, roller furling, all the bells and whistles. Uh, this boat, when, we, when you see down below, uh, you're going to see that this thing is just spit polished clean, turnkey. Everything looks clean, bright. The cushions look beautiful. Looks like they've never been used. And the current owners have owned this boat for 28 plus years. The head looks nice and bright and clean. Uh, the main salon, the table that folds down, storage, the table folds down here. You've got a settee that opens up right here. Uh, this thing is go, go, go. Uh, I would, uh, if you're looking for a, a smaller boat that's easy to anchor and moor and dock, uh, this boat is for you. And when it's got a Wester beak, of course, because it's a saber. And when you see the exterior of this thing, there's so many pictures. I'm sorry, I'm going to look. The gimbal stove looks like it's never been used. It looks like it's never seen a pot or pan. And um, the sole floor is perfect. The bow looks nice. Uh, it's been stored indoors. The decks look perfect. The, the ports look great. The windows look great. And wait until you see it. The helm station looks great. I wish there was a little more teak around the, around the cockpit, but that could always be out. But this gel coat, this gel coat, it looks brand new. I've never seen its equal, honestly, on a 1989 boat. This thing is ready to go. This is our number three boat. And if you want a 30-footer, I would take a very close look at this. This is brokered by East Coast Yacht Sales out of Mystic, Connecticut, though the boat is located in Portland, Maine. Uh, I don't believe it says how many hours are on the engine. It does not. But again, it's a Westerbeek. It'll go forever if it's, if it's been well taken care of. And it certainly looks like this one has been well taken care of. Okay, coming in at number two. Another CNC. This thing just hit the market like two days ago. It is a 1986 CNC 38 Mark III. It listed at 35,000. Uh, listed by Lyman Morse uh, Brokerage out of Thomaston. Lyman Morse is a prolific boat builder and boat storage facility and, and yacht broker in Thomaston, Maine and Camden, Maine, if you don't know them. And this CNC is a racer cruiser. It's a three spreader mast on this. It the I believe it's been the original owners maybe. And... Um, if you want to do the reason this is number two is because I have the itch to do a little racing. This boat will smoke them. This boat is fast. It's faster than the CNC 40. The inside looks great. Uh, there are only seven photos, so there's not a lot to look at here. The galley looks clean. There's nothing not to like about this boat. Um, if you're looking to do some around the buoy racing or distance racing or even cruising, this boat is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I love it. Um, it's got the modern looks to it. Um, you know, the late 80s classic plastics got radar. And let's see if it tells us anything about the propulsion. It's a Yanmar 30 horsepower. The Yanmars are, are, uh, are great engines, direct drive. Um, you know, parts are a dime a dozen for these, so easy to work on. And um, it, this just, just came on the market. At that price, you can't beat it. That is a solid, solid boat. Okay, guys, coming in at number one is another bristol 35.5 i'm sorry if you don't like them i love this boat in particular wait until you see the pictures it's a 1978 bristol 35.5 list price is 39.9 second most expensive on our list offered by sailboats northeast which is a brokerage um this boat comes with a dinghy and a motor it is ready to rock and roll uh it is a westerbeek uh, 38, 35 horsepower with only 30, uh, with only 1150 hours put in the boat 2001. So it is a newer engine with low hours. 1150 hours is nothing, guys and girls. This is just brand spanking new. Now this boat is a stunner. Uh, this is jaw dropping. It just came on the market. I love it. It's got the Westerbeek, like I said. It looks clean. 
the boat, um, I'm going the pictures in reverse here. So it's uh, the nav station looks nice. The head looks great. The galley looks perfect. I love the Formica on this one. Uh, it's white, not that other color they sometimes use. The sole floor looks great. Um, the cushions are uh, not my favorite color, but they are serviceable and they look brand new. And this boat is just a head turn. A lot of teak down below. It is a beautiful, it's a beauty. It's a beautiful boat. It's got a painted spar. Uh, the drades are beautiful. Uh, it looks like an older ruler furling Schaefer on there. Um, but uh, I want to show you some more pictures because uh, the louvered, louver hatch doors, companionway doors. God, the teak accents around where you put your winch handles. Uh, the, the combing around uh, the cockpit is beautiful with the teak. Uh, it's got some primary self-tailing. All the winches are self-tailing. This thing is just, it's a head turner. It's a stunner. And it comes with a fair cloak cover. That thing I can tell you is about six grand. All right, you're getting that for part of the boat. Look at this boat. It's just beautiful. I love the blue and white. It's a fresh paint job on this boat. I love the boot stripe. I love the cove stripe, that combination. Um, it is a classic beauty. Bimini, Dodger, Stack Pack. Uh, roller furling, radar. I love this boat. I can't stop looking at it. And oh, it's got a nice ladder off the transom too. What more could you possibly want? This is the one. This is the one, guys and girls. For thirty nine nine, you get this thing at thirty five. You got a head turner. You're never going to tire of looking at this boat. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you next week.